Abutia ria fa hu shemu ye wate. Abua ye ndadada. Amen. Amen. Ye de radi ye nya anko ponti ase fo na se enen so. Me se say, ye de radi ye nya anko ponti ase fo na se enen de yin so. So afa Christo so. No ama ye unkwa hon hon. Ni ye da so ti ase. Ne ma ye si ye mu biyem. Si ye be jwen jwen nya anko ponti ase mo. Ni ye di ya bwe raya wa vim. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. That we have to give thanks to him. That as ladies, as he's made us, we've been able to gather here to think about the word of God and also benefit from it. And that day, today's program, our topic is hardship in marriage. Hardship. In marriage, hardship in marriage has become poverty, which is really whipping many people. The many challenges that is affecting many marriages, one of them is hardship. O baby o hono mwa. O no diye. E niye ma. E ma na sumjiye. E ma na nijiye ma na hon tono wa. O te te. Nuhu nya wariye ne ya obe jaye no. E nya wun chile. Anasi kasem. E ne ma nintu mi nya na sumjiye. Anane nijiye. There are certain women in marriages. The sort of things that they are going through in marriage. Is not finances. Is not any other thing. But. Exactly, it's hardship. So you can't watch them go the angle. No, they were out. When we talking about poverty, that lady is completely out. If you say one, what you want? Sike bi obebu sani kunubi obemani bi. Because the person who to be a the yen who be a, when you the yen who, Adrian the papa be a when you be di ne ma ne kunutu ya ne ma school fees fine. Tike sika sam padia kuni problem. Because such a lady has no problem concerning finances. Because if she is asking the husband for money, that one, there is no problem. She's able to have good money to educate the children or even dress up. So if we are talking about um, problems in marriage, she is not having that side of problems. She's able to get good food and enjoy herself very well. She's living in a very good house. As for her, the only thing that's not giving her peace of mind is yes, it's not money problem. She's saying that every day, whatever she needs in the finances, you are able to provide. But her problem is that can I uh, have communication with the money that you give to me? This is all her complaint in the marriage that she's in. It's not hardship. It's because of humanizing. She knows that the man doesn't have time for her. But she, he's able to have time for other women. He doesn't love me. He doesn't have time for me. He doesn't even like me. Oh, so what am I even doing in this marriage? Do we marry money? Can I converse with money? If you have a lot of money and you don't have joy, oh, you can even die and leave your children behind. So there me, are some women who have such a problem. The, the things that she's going through in marriage is not money per se. But we have another woman. The man is able to let the lady go through a lot of hardship. 
All this I'm saying doesn't mean that the man doesn't have money. Anyway, the man has a very good job. He's able to get a, a good amount of money from the job. But when the lady asks the husband for money, what she suffers a lot. The man gives the, the money outside to people. Either his relations or his friends even at funerals he's able to give a lot of money there he's able to give some to his girlfriends also. but his wife suffers a lot before he gets money from him before even he pays his school the children's school fees the, the man has to talk a lot for it even to affect the, the wife before he goes to pay the fees so, so hardship is also giving a lot of challenges to married couples on this earth there are certain women as for her, her hardship is like a bottle. You can scratch it and scratch it, and nothing will drop down. Because it doesn't have anything from anywhere. The husband doesn't have it. And she also doesn't have it. The husband does all kinds of work, yet there is no better income. And she also likes working. She's a very hard working woman. But nothing comes out of the job she does. She's always going through hardship. Left with jobs alone. Oh, you like working a lot. Like the money that will come into your life, you cannot enjoy it. Like by now, you've built a lot of houses. But the word of God says, Let me tell you, I, the Lord, my blessings make it rich and added and fabbing sorrow. All the tiring that you are tiring, you're tiring. nothing good is coming out of it, and hardship is always fighting you in your marriage. Hardship has become a lot of battle in your marriage. Left with jobs alone. Oh, you like working a lot. You've been working with your husband for a long time. Even your children's school fees is very difficult to pay. Hardship has sat on your job. It has sat on your peace. You are in a total hardship. Oh, more than a mouse in a church. House. Whatever you do doesn't prosper. You have not yet seen the secret that the blessings of the Lord will bless your work for you to prosper. But you've left the, the ways of God behind you. This is the reason why always I say married couples have thrown away the word of God in marriage. If we will work with the word of God in our marriages, like the marriages will prosper very, very well. Oh, there is no human on this earth without a problem. But you would have it light. So the word of God was not separated alone for a certain group of people. So you can now know that I, Florence Obini, uses the word of God in every area. Quotation, the quotations that have been written in the word of God, it wasn't written for one group. Of married couples are God has cursed certain people on this earth Amen. Amen. there are and so what in the where you so and be what you there are certain groups of people who have been cursed by God you have heard it but you have taken your eyes off it but today, open your ears very, very well, and I will teach you 
what I have for you from the word of God. Even your pastor who is a man, a man being, when he curses you, it will come to pass. How much more God himself cursing you. Somebody in Accra here can curse another person in Kumasi with a river god called Antoinyama. And it will happen. The person's stomach will become big. The legs will also swell. It happens to that person in that distance. Even human beings are able to call spirits to curse. And it happens. How much more God himself cursing you? How would it not come to pass? Today. Today we are coming to have a look about those whom God has cursed that they are always working all types of works and it's not always given them. Satan surely are not in the So when Satan comes your way, he's able to touch your job. Because he knows that you are among those groups of people who have been cursed by God. He's able to destroy your finances. He will not allow your work to bear fruits of finances so that you have peace of mind. Let's say Let's have a look at those who have been cursed by God that Satan is able to destroy their works and they are not able to get money out of the works they do. Let's visit the book of Malachi. Chapter 3, verse 7 to 12. Malachi, chapter number 3, verse 7 to 12. Malachi, a tree me and son, and ye moon and son, a cosi, a dumienu. A tia, someone say, a sudia, a number of foam sober. Eh, a dear debet, she was so. I am not one cassa of foam and one foam so, and nothing a massa problem not to one, and no neighbor. A free moja non breso. Na mosani free mashedi mu na mo ani so ye wa ware fo bi wo ha mo chiri wo mo a e fi on papa suban ya ne kita wo mo no e bia ne ne o mo sukutem amantime ni nyame asam so ntino mo chiri wo mo ma ware mu sa no there are certain couples who are going through certain hardships because of their parents their parents were not able to obey the word of god so out of this, they are also going through the hardships they are going through. Aha, young queen. Monsa amra minchen na mesane abba minchen asafora de na osiye. What e? Ene wasi me me mabo unkaye ne fi ne deko wa share this and ye beke ni na so sa wia sa wasane abba radin chen tu anu sube sane abba unchen asemu enya me na meka wa ne siye asafora de. Have you heard? He says that I should come and inform you that you will turn and come back to the Lord. And as you turn and return to the Lord, he will also return to you. This word, I am not the one saying it to you, but the Lord God Almighty is telling you this. Namoka said, A muna yen sign. Oni pabe fumi nyanku pon afa sedi e more fumi afei. Wati nyame se yewo ni pebi omo bokro nuti an mu viano yewo nkrofobi groupu bi oha nyame se nti krono amu boi ba no ati ano ase ti ni papa ti krono amu boti ame asa for radesa ano. God is saying this that there are certain people who are robbing him that that group of people are really robbing God. And he's asking, how can human beings rob I God like this? We know that when you rob somebody, he curses you. Who doesn't know it? If you steal somebody's thing, doesn't the person curse you? He curse you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Have you heard? You say, what have I stolen from God? You have really stolen from God. 
Obi oha ni kunu ntia tight. Some of you your husbands doesn't pay their tights to God. Onu a oba nu amu so ntia tight. That lady also doesn't pay tights. Awari fo ni nyina mumu ni nyina ntia tight. Both couples they don't pay tights. And rather this ni pay be a won't ya tight to us as is The Lord says that any human being who doesn't pay tights on this earth, we are crumb for. You are a thief. We are we. You are a thief. What for manafa? You are an arm robber. Where we are no. You are stolen God. Amen. What's the word we are no? God says you have stolen him. Ediana, me we are ready. What have you done to rob God? A dear crown and randy my year. I mean, which you me say, they be a me quite sorry. You ask God, oh God, what have I done? And always I'm going through this hardship, but every day I'm in the church. Was it to so do the name Maso, a foreign bomu, or so for now, said as in a bar for ye? I was so dear, won't be tight enough. Oh, would you know, Sika, Ekitawa, was your shanty, where they are tight to the assem. Where Jumana way and I was so in you so tight and was a chrono cassia pa. He says that in tithes and in offerings, the man of God that you are you are serving under, and you are not giving your tithes and offerings there. The work that you are doing, and you say that, oh, you are not going to give out tight out of that job. God says that in that, you are robbing him. There are some people who even go to church, they don't give an offering to God. If somebody will even give an offering, he goes through his, his money in his pocket, checking and checking and checking. Do you know what he's checking for? He, he's just checking for the, the, red, the red one. The red one. And the one that is like brown. Yeah, yeah, that one, the brown one, he push it aside. I couldn't answer. Uh, purple color, the, the, the one that's that twenty like cities, purple, like twenty. Cities. Hey, there be no hey, push huh? that one away. Ten cities, no, no, I, you, hey, I, say, what was the ten Ghana? You just push it also at oh, the corner. He's still searching for the red hey, one. Yeah, you know, could be obey. Yeah, you search for the danger and bring it out. Yeah, when you pepe was also so, there are some people. Yeah, when you pepe was also so, there are some people. Oh, what to collect him? When he's going to give an offering, basically, he wants money that has been destroyed. The one that is very dirty. Listen to what is behind. You are not doing it against I. You are robbing God Himself. He says He has something to give you quietly. Sister, being a bear, me fear. Now, one sister came to me one day. I was just going to pray, and then she said she will follow me. I saw her going into my bathroom, and then. Having a call. And she, she made a call behind the wall. I said, Mother. She said, Mother. Oh, friend, Ebano. She called the daughter. Oh, Papa. I be fear her. He said, Have your father come home? What's he he said, he said, yes, he's there. He said, he said, he said the, the, the message I gave to you quietly. Have you given it to your father? Do you know the message he left behind? He says, if Sunday the husband doesn't go to church, when he was coming to me, she removed both rings, her wedding rings, and left it with the daughter. If the husband doesn't go to church on Sunday, he should kindly give this Rings to the child, the husband. When, when I heard it, I was just laughing and laughing. Amen. Amen. Then he said, Oh, give it to my sister for me to speak to her. And that made me to understand the message. He said, I have told my, my daughter that you should give my wedding rings to my husband. If he doesn't go to church this coming Sunday, you should give my wedding rings to him very nicely. He should give, give him the rings very nicely. And, and you should tell him that this is the <laughs> nice message I'm giving to you, my husband. Amen. Amen. And, oh, this nice message that God is giving to you, this what is coming. Why wouldn't you tight? You wait, not paying your tithes. Now, more for real. And you're not giving good offering. To God. You don't like giving offering to God. This is a very nice message I'm giving to you today. Let's continue. What did not me add to me? What did not me to me? So what's here? Now I'm petite to you. 
This is the very beautiful message that God says I should give to you today. If you are here and you don't like Titan, you don't like giving your offerings, this is the beautiful message that God says I should give to you. He says that he has cursed you. Uh huh. If we said, Mina, more for me, Afa. If we said, Titan, I won't see you. For we are on time, Bon. Collection, I won't turn to no. A Yamir Radin away, Yamino. We are will be at the so I had a to me bold yadomel because you have robbed me when you steal somebody's thing, he's able to curse you. Oh, my morning, you know, uh huh. Mon fat to so do do no, you know, I'm right at the cradam. I worry for it. Yes, I'm also my own. Your castle, my morning, you know, or may my wallet for so to move. And to your men, Fenyan Copan, some Emma Solly Cof won't go on. Now crowd, who your wallet for cross or cross or inibi. Tia worry for you, you know, so your castle quotation will want it. This I hope that you are worrying, papa, 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 papa. God is saying that the whole nation, if we say the whole nation, or if we talk about the whole nation, married couples, you are also in the nation, you are also included. So if you delete yourself from giving your tithe and offering, you will go through a whole lot of hardships in your marriage. Na edianintina madekura daimu. Utiye. Sofu anye juma. Pai boni bai bradi shia. So akasu woja woho. Okoye bank manager. Enye ye. Enti we na wutia. Ama nyanko poye juma koso. Na sofu no suni nyuma koso. Nyami juma no wanfare wanye. Asiye nyine eni. Are you listening to me? Men of God are not supposed to work or add any work to the work of God that they are doing. Your duty is to pay your tithes and give your offerings to God so that the work of God will continue moving on very successfully. So if they, are, if they leave the work of God and go and do any other work, it will not go on well with you. So why are you if you don't give your tithe and offering, your pastor or man of God will be very hungry. So God is giving you money now would be that you will be able to take good care of the man of God. No, that your money will increase. No, that God will protect your money for you. God says, I gave you the money. So if you are not going to obey what he's teaching you today, so whoever is not obeying this word, you are cursed. Who said it? Who said it? Asafo rade na osie. Why na kan sa? Asafo. Eye sofu bi na kan e. Why na kan e? Asafo. Wase afori bona wo bone tight na wo tua no. Wo dey be dey. Wo dey so na hwe. Who said it? Why na kan sa? God said it. God is saying that the tight and the offerings that you are giving to the man of God it is a test that you are putting it on God Himself. So He says, "Put me to test and see." Semi mwe osro mpo mame mamo. Uh huh. Nami ushie ishirame mamo. Uh huh. Mo mano mro swana. Uti. We ya sana nyami biyo kwa inkesi biyo kwa sewe biyo osro mpo ma. Nye se ube biyo pule muato tuwa ma. Ama baby usi kana locki. Wajuma na locki mfasi kebi amano. Aya dayi ishirame bire fili muaba. As you give your tithe and offering, God is able to open the doors and the windows of your life where it's been shut so that your finances will be able to flow comfortably to you. If God doesn't open the windows of heaven for you, if he doesn't open the doors for you, I told somebody that the blessings of the Lord make it rich and are there no sorrow. Yen mm -hmm. Na may you a di for no amamo. Was it the edi kind? May be a was who is ramon, may be a puny one to amamo. He says, He says, First of all, I will open the windows of heaven for you and bless you for you to be very prosperous. For best slow and sound, you must bless the work of your hands. I'm when you see copy, pray, get a lot of money. 
Now your hardship will depart from you. Now the the secondly, Satan, Satan, the destroyer, who is stopping your work from prospering, who is stopping your financial support. If today you will listen to what he's telling you, he says that he will, he will be you. you. If we say somebody's rebuking somebody, what Sir, does it mean? If we say that a witch is destroying somebody, it means that he is not giving the person a peace of mind. If we say that a somebody, it means that he is not giving the person a peace of mind. He is not giving the person a peace of mind. He is not allowing her to prosper in her finances. So God Himself will grip Satan. He will not allow Satan to destroy your work. To destroy your finances. Maybe your man will come from your husband. There are some people who, whose husbands are rich, but they will not give them. All his money is spent outside. Big donations at funerals. When the sister wants some of the money, he's able to give him quickly. He's going to give to the mother. He's using to take care of the niece. But you, the wife, you are suffering. Chop money, no, the money that he gives you. Will you be to your tight? You, you, do you use some to pay your tithes? Yeah, with me, boy, for you, Are you able to give God offering throughout that? Grip money? So God has gripped your money. If you say, all shiny man, mission in your money, I'm on you. But you see, if the man is taking care of his relatives, he's and not And as he's taking care of people outside, outside. he's giving some to friends. He's giving some to poor people outside. They don't speak out a lot, but they are being given. And also a Bible. It's also in the Bible. That we should take care of our very relatives. It's in Deuteronomy. And the Bible in the sea. And the of Blessed be the one who thinks about the one who is poor. The Lord will bless him in days of trouble. Psalm 41. Psalm 41. So, so as the man is taking good care of the poor outside. Do you see that still he's getting more money? But you, you are suffering. He's not giving you. He's really not giving you. But his money is always going up. Because you, God has cursed you. God has cursed you. You are not paying your tithes. You don't give offerings to God. Some people sit and listen to certain uh, teachings that is going on on the FM stations. Any TV so and on TV stations, which is fighting against the word of God concerning offering and tithes. Fighting against tithes and offering. There are some people who give good offering in the house. The next time they will hear there are people in their home have also heard of it. It's the devil who has also gone to use somebody to fight against your finances. So he is always using people to go and report you to your husband. So when you stop the offering, he is able to get your job and destroy it. He is able to stop your finances. Amen. Amen. It is a TFM so no one why. Now we jaw tight to ya offering our two uh for a bow our bow. So we jaw we know Mr. Wombe chill papa papa pa bear money with scout the bequab on ten sa so if you are the type who likes listening to certain teachings going on on certain FM stations that do not pay your tithe and offering, then you will enter into very hardship in your marriage, the man will get money, yet he will give to people outside. You will not enjoy some. Somebody is able to sit a man of God down and then complain a lot that mm, my husband is not taking good care of me, always giving money to people outside. But he is not the, she is not the type who pays tithes or offering. Prophetess, what does it say? Amen. Our if we are free, I trust him. We trust him. We 
Eni pe bin kwa dia. Awari fo nyina ye ka ho. Ye mfa ye hwe ye. As married couples, we have removed ourselves from certain word of God. This word of God is not for only certain group of people. It's for all of us. And so that money that your husband gives to you as your chop money, if you use all to buy meat in your soup, and you use it to dress up, there are some bad days ahead for you. Now I may say, as I see about my mom, was it? Obesi or bonnet for no coin. Now I may say, when some new man, I'm a day, I'm a woe. He said, You rebuke the devourer for your sake, so that it doesn't come to destroy the work of your hands. Yanko, now for more bobe, I'm a mom. Aha, I suffer rather than what see. Why not say you? Who is saying this? It is the Lord God Almighty. And to feed their consultants, what done for visa memoir for it? Tough would be eighty chief of road, TV so FM so a bone some pan on. Was I say so self for? Was I say so self for? I'll be more dick here. Mom, what chill was I sorry, Democra? Oh, no, no. So if from today you hear of anyone on the on the FM stations or TV stations teaching that do not pay your tithe or do not give offerings to God. Know that that person, or even if he's a man of God, is your best Satan on this earth. He's preventing you from reaching out your prosperity or having blessings from God. Amen. 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 Emma when you see or how a juma must come from Muma, was soon better. Oh, sip on some coin. Emma, a man man in a boo, said, Woke Kaish, who tow, umbe boo, a boy, a mono, baby, or tea mono. Tia Maya with him, mono, ye be boo. So, who tow, ye see can he? The atosumi, you know, was soon bad day, a bad show. So, if you do this. The nation where you are living, everybody will see it and call you rich. They will respect you and call you a wealthy person. And yes. also, they will see your peace. Yes. Enti mi pa acho, nyami adofwe. Se we nye sika, nyanko pa agripu bonsan. Me se, wa pona shibebi amaw. E si ni kwa yamaw. E na e ni pe bu, ama ya witi mi ye bu. E ni pe bu, ne ti tru son wo. If God rebukes the devil for you and your work begins to prosper and you are respected wherever you are and you receive your peace and also you receive your joy and the people around you begin to serve you and you begin to enjoy, will you not be happy with this? Ah, what's in the way to be near Nika. It is our same way. Why in a car? What's it? A suffer radina or see. What's what car? Somebody be an order. I bet you to a suffer radina or a day or see. And no one may say, Well, my mamma come and come and sat. Move a say, What's a med domemo? A suffer radina or see. Same beer was through in Shiramamo. A suffer radina or see. Have you seen that all the statements when he speaks about one, he ends it up with. That sayeth the Lord. Uh-huh. He sayeth, that sayeth the Lord. For three times, I have noticed this in this particular verse. All of them, he declares that, that sayeth the Lord. What's it? So why, yeah, my domain, that say the Lord. He said that if you don't obey me, I have cursed you. That sayeth the see, Lord. Or see, for where some is she, say me, me, or soon, fancy, and I'll soon, puma. He says that puts me to test with this and see if I will not flank open the windows of heaven and pour forth blessings upon you. Thus saith the Lord. And I will say, so we yes, sir. Messi or bonnet for now, or see what you might find on my winner's canoe. Messi, the coin, me man, and more sick as No, I may say we sick as No, I may say what you might. He says that if you do this, I will rebuke the devourer who is destroying your work. I will stop him so that he doesn't come to destroy your work or destroy your money. 
Was this a banner, sir? He says, when this happens, when you may cosso, your work will prosper. It's your mind of with him on the land that you are living in. They will respect you a lot. Say, Mammy, they won't turn up. This woman, she has a lot of peace. Now, what one can say when you can, and you yourself will have a lot of joy. Now, when you assume you, you have your peace of mind. I suffer rather than a messy, that say yes, the law. She didn't, you know, rather than our day. So, all these things is the Lord who has spoken. It's the Lord who has spoken. But human beings have cut rods into our ears. When you speak about ties to people, it's like it's for certain groups of tights. Some women don't pay their tithes. On par for but she doesn't like giving offering. The husband too doesn't pay tithes or offerings. And, and, and they are going through hardships like church mouse. And they are going through this hardship, and even their children are also suffering because and of that. So when the children are grown, the children are grown. 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 The children are So when the children grow up, they come to benefit from whatever their parents have done, the foundation they laid long ago. And they are also going through the same thing. They does not know who caused their hardship. The man is giving money to the fiancé outside or girls outside and the man is still prospering. And you think that the man will lack money and will not prosper, but it's, it's still going on that. Because who they won't share tight, won't pay for it, but won't pay you as hard or any in Tino, won't you? I mean, I care so. You would think that your husband is giving his money to people outside, yet he will still be prospering. You will not understand. He is giving it according to the word of God, but you are suffering. If it's a woman who suffers, I know, you're going to care so I don't mean. You who is suffering like that, it is because God has cursed you. It will be brutal, many nuances. So when you hear that, they be on your sicker. You will be cursing your husband every day, but still he's always having money. Then my many things, I'm a bit too young. You are saying that God will curse the man. Or the sicker man, nebu suya fuo. Or the man ma wa bonte nem puna fuo. Every day, be too young. Kabaya ma me no wa bere. Me di emerges. Uba ma me sicker kwa jis ame branza na adi amame. You go like this. My husband, you've been always giving money to your relatives and giving people outside money. You will suffer. When I ask you for money, you don't give me. Amen. 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 He will not suffer. He will not go through hardship. It is you who have been cursed. That's why the man doesn't give you money. As married couples, let's learn how to give. Let's learn how to give our tithe and our offering. So what kind of Deuteronomy chapter twelve, verse four to six? Sir, I see a ready money and coupon. I'm fun, sir. It is a whole thing. I'm a sir. Deuteronomy chapter twelve, verse four to six. He says that you cannot take God like that. Mm-hmm. It will catch his off when I say, Medemoqua sans and a son. Semube ye ye, no more de ye, no more de monsasso be bimna, semube ye beer. And you are for a bow down the Marco best eight or say eleven, or some money na. So they take a home, wake a home, wake and wear dozen. So the Lord told the children of Israel that the land where I'm sending you, if you be there and will prosper, you have to obey me by giving all the kinds of offerings that I have proposed to you. They were about twelve. Also, and tithe was included. We chop money now. We can do my own. We didn't even hear we see tithe at the end. The chop money that your husband has been giving you. Do you use all to do your hairstyles and also dress up? We didn't even hear him. Quite sure, she fridge him still near way near way near way near. Do you use it for all kinds of dishes and keep it in your fridge? A yeah, Kai. Let's do tithe. Film one. Sense is going to be a. Please remember to 
take out your tithe and offering before you use it. No matter say, how small the money is. No say you so as a, as a for you. Then you take your offering also out of that money. You see on the you so. As your money is, take the tithe out of it. So we understand. If you do this, you have sown a seed in the spirit. You have put your money in the spiritual bank. So the bankers, when they are going to take the money, there is no case in it. There is no police case in it. If your money is not in the bank, and you want to take it, you will get a case, a big case. You will be put to shame. They will allow policemen to come and pick you up. So we have the spiritual police people. They are the witches and the wizards. As you pray to God and ask for money, 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 and you are not the one who pays your tithes, and you don't give offerings, it becomes a case for you. So the spiritual police people come to arrest you. They know that you have failed with the Lord. They know the word of God. Satan was up there with God. If you are a married person, obey the word of God. The word of God goes for also married couples. After your wedding, chop money your husband gives you. Please don't use it for yourself alone. If you are using it for dressing, Enjoying it in your, your soups. Listen to the word of God in Galatians chapter Verse 6. Verse 7 to 10. 7 to 10. And the benefits the benefit that you will get from this. Young Queen. Garati for Mumma. Uh huh. Ancien. Uh huh. Nimo and son Kosi a dupe. A certain amuaba, a tiasem. Wootie, was there a certain amudie? See, I cast a woo goo a babia. The woo goo be answered that or bad day. Who be chap? Let's listen to this. Whatever you, you sow, you, you shall reap. Whatever you sow, you, you shall surely reap. When we say that life seed, the seed that you are sowing for your life, that in future you will benefit from it, good or bad. Uh huh. So what seed is it? Let's go. What you want? What the chop money in a young coin ton tad yes, send me your bar for real me will be mean to your tight ya. What say? And now dance you want cast out the bed that I want to me and not down. So if you are there and you take all your money and enjoy it on dressing and food, thinking that you will not give offering to God, it is a seed. So you are Mocking your own self. Uh huh. Young queen. Onya kupo ye nsi na chuchu ye. Uh huh. See ye. So if we say the only pair go no. Uh huh. Obecha. Obecha. So we discover you now to turn nyama ye uhuwa. And the ugu ma uhuna mo. Wa ungu biya me nyanku pon wa kupa kucha. So if you used all the money for yourself, dressing up and eating. You get you did it for your own self. You didn't do it for God. In other words, you cannot reap anything. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Out of it. Uh-huh. 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 So whoever sows the seed for the flesh will reap rottenness. So I am telling you. As you continue in your marriage, getting to a certain time, your husband's life will become rottenness for you. Uh huh. Yento aso. Oguma hon hon no free hon hon mu betra da anko. What eh? The ogum ogu o hon hon mono. We yamu mu nioma. Dinya men samso. So we dinya kumpo an samso ye we ye we. Afariya ye hon hon ma diye. Because me kwa koba afariya me nyame. Amen. It's a spiritual thing. So whoever sows in the spiritual will also reap the spiritual blessings. Because if you do it for God, you will surely reap 
the spiritual blessings. So you always enjoy the riches of your husband. You who is also reaping the rottenness, you are the type who is always having the husband giving the money to people outside. Uh huh. Uh huh. And you mon crow. Uh huh. Na mo ma ya mre papa ya mu. Uti ye. Se uti ya tight. Na oba for ya men ya day. Emre unwati. Listen, if you are giving tight and offering, don't be tired doing it always. Uh huh. Yonko. Na se ya mpaba. Se wa mpaba. Ewa wa for ya bo. Ni wo tight it. Ya mwa. Uh huh. If you don't get frustrated doing this. Yebe cha. Na yebe cha suwa ba ni bre mu. Uti ye. A bedroom baby, one cousin, I'll be a day. A bed benefit. And at the right time, you shall surely reap what you have sown. Enti ye wa bra a fata. Ah, mama yenye nipa nina ye. Aha. Enkanka, wana wa ye jidie no fear for. So what eh? What eh? Enti wa bra ne ya wasate wale ya wut ya wa tighta ma jidie fear for my a soft for. Powerful, ye. Mm. powerful mommy. Amen. So powerful, have you, ye. Have you heard? Show you my way, ye. Ye, we are. Answer. Na brave people walk up with shot. So have you heard? The moment you got married, you need to be paying all your tithe to the people in the house of God. So as you have sown all these years, at the right time, you will go and reap what you have sown. And then, aha, and ye did see. Dafu fro, ye besa tuaso. Ba 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 